Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. The weekend is here. Hope you're ready. Cool temperatures. We're going to wake up to 40s in most spots. Some outlying areas could be in the upper 30s by morning. Paving the way for a day in the 60s for Saturday, 70s on Sunday. Looking great. Also in tonight's Chicks Chat, talking about potential heavy rain next week. Here you go. So if you're going to F1 this weekend, unseasonably cool temperatures will be the rule. 67 Saturday, 75 on Sunday. If you're not heading there, but you're going to be outdoors. There's Diamond Fest, Worst Fest, Fan Fest downtown, and lots of outdoor activities. It's going to be nice. Sunny on Saturday. Don't forget to switch that clock back an hour on Sunday as daylight saving time comes to an end. High temperature 75 Sunday, increasing clouds. Monday, partly cloudy skies, just a 10% chance of maybe a little bit of light drizzle or a stray shower. Then, two things come into play. A Pacific cold front reaches us by late Tuesday. At the same time, Vance, which is a tropical storm in the Pacific, likely to turn into a hurricane and then weaken. Well, the remnants of Vance look like they will push toward the Austin area. So if we get that tropical system bringing remnants along with the cold front from the Pacific, it could be kind of a one-two punch in terms of heavy rainfall potential. So I've got a 60% chance on Election Day, a 70% chance on Wednesday, backing to a 40% chance Thursday, and maybe even a lingering shower on Friday. If all things come together, not only will we see some cool temperatures, look at that, 65 the high on Wednesday, we could also see potentially anywhere from one to as much as four inches of rain. If it comes all at once, we could be talking flood potential. If it's spread out over three or four days, it'll just be plain beneficial. You know we need it, definitely for our lakes. We'll keep in touch and uh, let you know how things are panning out as far as that goes in the days to come. Have a good weekend.